Hi guys, you're tuning in to BBZ Reviews, where three vastly different individuals with varying technical backgrounds come together to share their thoughts on movies, films, and everything in between. Hi guys, welcome to BBZ Reviews, which stands for... Boomer. Boomer. And Zuma. So today we have a very special film named Seen Unseen, like S C E N E, not S E E N. Yeah. Yep. Kaz, you want to introduce? Okay, so this film is uh, directed by Nizam and Friends. Okay. Uh, and it's released this year. I mean, hmm. right after this release, I think. This BBC. BBC, right. Because we real time to it. Uh, so that, okay. Yeah, so that. You guys can watch it in cinema. If someone mm. comes to you, Kaz, mm. what is seen unseen in two sentences? Summarize the wow, movie first. Wow, what a test! Uh, no, just summarize the movie first. Yep, yeah. yeah. uh, it's a it's a documentary about a uh, local band scene. Okay, yeah. during which period was that? Eighties, mm. was it? Even earlier than that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It does talk about 60s band mm. and all that. But in the in beginning, but it's more of 90s to current. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So I was there. Mm -hmm. She wasn't. Mm -hmm. You are in there. <laughs> yeah, because you're so that's very the, interesting. Right? Yeah, exactly. I was thinking of that. Oh, mm. I got this nice line coming. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. You are not there. Mm. And you're in there. So yep. perspective after watching the, mm -hmm. the movie, mm -hmm. will be very, very different, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, I worked on the sound on this film. So, exactly. yeah. Yeah. so yeah. I feel <clears throat> I have a hard time being uh, mm -hmm. you know, objective about mm -hmm. this film. Mm -hmm. So I was hoping to hear from mm -hmm. you guys more. Sure. Right, and right. whatever I can answer, mm -hmm. not on behalf of director or, right. or uh, production, but on my uh, Personal yeah. capacity. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, sure. Uh, yes, I need to get some clearance. I mm -hmm. need to get some explanation on certain things. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> you want to start off, Shannon? What What do you feel after watching the movie? Straight out, straight oh, away, yes, not even the, after, the, like, while yeah. watching. While yeah. watching it. Mm. I mean, for me, for someone who actually really loves listening to music, like you will mm. never see me without my airports when I'm mm. out like tra on trans public, public mm. transport. So mm. I kind of relate to what they say in terms of like how music is like their sanctuary, mm -hmm. it's like a like a form of escape, mm -hmm. and somehow for some of them even livelihood, uh, mm -hmm. like their livelihood, right? Mm -hmm. So I think it's very interesting for me that um all the social issues that they touch on in um this film, right? Um, they all these social issues are still occurring now. Mm -hmm. Like it's mm -hmm. it's a very um it's a very contemporary thing, mm -hmm. and. Yep. Even in the past or so, it, I, I think it's always and, uh, the same kind of things. Uh, on top of uh, what you have just said, mm. I feel it's quite universal things mm -mm. that they... Uh, Experience. Yeah. Mm. It's not only Singapore thing. Yep. Yeah. True. So, yeah. Especially during the era. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or probably Singapore experienced it a bit later than the West. Yep. And then, yep. It, you know, it brought down to here. Mm. No, I'm just curious for you because mm. most of the scenes that were, were shared in the mm -hmm. film mm -hmm. happened when you were not even born. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the yeah, institution yeah. called the substation now is totally different from what it was. What yeah. it was, yeah. 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 Can you like, when you saw it, can you imagine that, hey, this actually happened in Singapore. People mosh pit, mm. slam Yeah, down. it's like... Did you, did you know of such thing? Yeah. I, I mean, I knew that there was an underground scene, but mm. I didn't know that like, there's so many like the older generation people mm -hmm. who are so... Mm -hmm. Passionate. Like, yeah, like hip, you know, they do hip, hip. stuff. Okay, exactly. <laughs> okay. And a bit uh, bordering on dangerous as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like you always see older people, like it's like a younger generation, like, oh mm -hmm. my gosh, like I like they are like kind of like, like they will abstain from such things. At least mm. the older people that I'm like, what do you call that? Exposed to. Right. So right. it's very like fun to see mm. them also go through right. that, like they were children also, you mm. know, that sort of thing. And it's I interesting think... that uh, my friends in my generation who were, uh, also in the band scene, right? Mm, mm. Uh, they have kids and all that mm. nowadays. Uh, mm. They complain that nowadays youngsters are very conservative. Oh, very safe. Don't want to, yeah, don't want to take risks and yeah. all that. Yeah. So it's interesting that you said, you know, like, 
uh, you didn't think the older generation were like、yeah. wild and all that. Yeah. Maybe because.、Uh, for your info, for the audience, she's a guitarist herself. That's why no, you know, she、compare. can relate to it. Absolutely not.、Uh, <laughs> you mean cannot compare to our great bassist? No, 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 cannot compare. Don't, please don't share. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like,、um, I think one of the first few reactions I actually had, right, was when they, they were like, They were like, I am a punk. I've、mm. never heard of anyone say that before. Oh, okay. Like, they've, okay, they've okay. Never, okay. I've never heard of anyone say, like, they're actually a punk. Like, that's part of their identity. Because、right. mm, mm. um, I guess punk can have negative connotations or so. Yes. Like, you're、yeah. a punk, like a、yeah. bad kid.、Oh, yes, so、don't be a punk. Right? Yeah. Exactly. So I thought it was so interesting. Whereas these people view it from a movement, a punk. Yeah, movement. as a movement, yep, yep. as a form、with、of resistance. With an objective,、yeah. you know, with a purpose. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But、uh, when it comes to Singapore, especially, Uh, the narrative is punks are bad.、Mm. Yeah, they create、exactly. trouble and, and、mm. you know, the verb becomes a negative word.、Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.、Mm. You、mm. punk. Yeah, you're yeah, a punk. Yeah, Don't yeah. be a street punk kind、mm. of thing.、Mm. Yeah, so I was quite, yeah, I wasn't taken aback, but I was quite amazed by how much conviction、mm. that they have, especially some ladies、yep. that were interviewed, right?、Mm-mm. So, you know, like I'm saying, like, I'm a woman, I'm、mm. a punk, you know, that、yeah. kind of、uh, yeah. pride in that. It's, it's quite. Like reclaiming mm, mm. a word, like、yep. they're reclaiming their identity in right, a sense. Like, you、right. tell me that I cannot be like this, then I'm gonna be like that, and I'm、mm. gonna take that word、mm. as like my thing. Yeah,、mm. happens a lot, and it's a thing. Right, yeah. Right. Going back to this film,、mm. fast forward、mm. to, to Sin and Sin,、uh, when I saw Substation, I saw some of the faces that, hey, you know, I, I think I came across them, I interviewed one or two of them in my, in my radio program last mm. time. Mm. It, it does have that nostalgic、uh, mm. appeal、right. to、mm. people our age,、mm. you know, the, the mm. 50s, late、yeah. 50s. Some of them are still there.、Mm. Uh, so I think that will be the strong pull、mm. if this film is being marketed towards、right. that, that group.、Right. Mm. That will be a, a, a strong uh, 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 marketing appeal mm. Uh, mm. Right, right. To, to pull in the audience to the cinemas because、mm-hmm. it won't be easy,、mm-hmm. right?、Mm. Uh, as it is,、uh, local music. Uh, it's not that truly, you know, we don't have a big market for local、yeah. music, right? What more a documentary style on that kind yeah, of, yeah, of music, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So they have to be quite smart in marketing it.、Mm-hmm. Yeah.、Mm. The, the interesting thing about this film is that、uh, not only you,、mm-hmm. but、uh, a few other youngsters enjoyed the film、mm. after watching it.、Mm. So, yeah, I think it's like to their surprise, like, Oh,、mm. there was such a vibrant scene before. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, if we can reach out, but how to reach out is、yeah. the, the question. Correct. But yeah, if they have a chance to watch it, I, I'm sure a few, quite a few percentage of them would enjoy it. They have to play the local、uh, angle,、mm. you know,、mm-hmm. uh, about the history of, of music in Singapore,、mm. the underground hardcore punk、mm. and all、mm. those. We had that.、Mm-hmm. We had that. It's not. Something you know, totally alien and, and mm. Western. Mm. I think some youngsters these days didn't know that this part、uh, of Singapore's history existed, yeah, yeah.、Mm. right? Because we were during that part, where most of the time we we're seen as、mm. unseen, right? Yes, Do not want、exactly, to be seen,、yeah. the underground,、yep. uh, troublemakers, right?、Mm. At substation, always、mm. uh, uh, noisy and, and yeah, things like that.、Yeah. But the interesting、mm. part was substation. Was started by Ko Po Kun.、Mm. He's a highly, yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, highly respected, looked up、uh, yep. playwright, cultured、yep. personnel. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right? Very much, yeah. yeah. And he created this space、mm-hmm. for, for youth、uh, yeah. at, that, at that time.、Yep. Uh, and you know, unfortunately, now we, yeah,、mm. it's not、mm. there anymore. Its、yeah. function has changed a lot. Yeah. I guess the feel、Local、and the、band. vibe is totally different. It's different. different. It's definitely、now. different. Right? You, you saw how like, raw the place yeah, was. Yeah, you had this sort of like wild, like, Completely. Yeah, that slam dancing. Yeah, the backyard garden space. It's、mm. like yeah. During I can remember during the、uh, New Year countdown, I、mm. was there、mm. on the streets, and people were just you know kids were just sitting around there yeah, doing yeah. nothing and drinking. Yeah, you know, like New Year, and we're just、mm. there. You know,、mm. <laughs> something that I would not <laughs> allow my kid to, <laughs> to do. Why? Why? <laughs> See, why? If you did、it's、it, why can't your kid? Do yeah, it? it's always like that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, always. Yeah. Oh yeah, cars. Mm-hmm. So, you appear in the film, and、mm-hmm. Talia and I have questions about <laughs> okay. it. <laughs> okay. Yes, so, we have questions. 
Yeah, like firstly, you know, like, w- w- do you call it afro? Like, you have like really no. curly, curly, like, yeah, yeah. you have my natural big hair, hair cuz you have big hair. I, I was like, this is natural <laughs> hair. Yeah, that's one natural and, waves. And secondly, you are like, uh, what's that? <laughs> uh, red hot chili pepper basis. Do you oh, get flea? your inspiration from there? Flea, mm. half naked. Oh, no, no. Playing your guitar? No. It, <laughs> bass, live, bass. Live bass. venues are always super hot. Ah, so I, I couldn't understand. stand. Oh. Yeah. Right, right, right. If, but, I, if I wanted to follow Flea, right, mm. I couldn't be that fat. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> no, that, that image is on my fattest days. Really? really? Yeah. I mean, you, you look, look pretty, pretty okay, okay, right? Like, really? yeah. Okay. <laughs> no yeah. flabby, you know, tummy <laughs> while you're dancing. No, okay. Now I got a question. You are definitely not one of them, like you know, mm-hmm. locally. Uh, but you're mm. kind of like accepted there. Was yeah, there yeah, anything yeah. like, while while you were 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 living it, uh, during those days? Mm. Was there like anything? Oh, your Japanese were not with us, or how was that? They were super duper friendly, but mm-hmm. uh, I feel the biggest difference today and back in the days was. The way acceptance over racism joke. Ah, yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So we were trying, you know, com- trying to compete each other. Who can be cracking the nastiest racist right. joke against each other? Right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you know they start talk about World War Two or you know, mm. like, oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, a operation. lot of them are not even funny, but you know, yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay, but yeah. you 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 took it, I guess. Like yeah. it is. There's no ill feel. There's no uh, I, bad intention. No, 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 from no. them. I, I I took it as a challenge, and I have right. to shoot back at uh-huh. him. You know? yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, how do you actually break into the the group or the scene when you are oh, an outsider? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, I was already playing bass in in Japan, mm-hmm. and I came here when I was eighteen. Mm. And in Japan, back by then, there was so-called band boom. Ah. So uh, a lot of indie bands mm, uh, mm, mm. were picked up by record labels. Band and, labels, uh, yeah. yeah. So underground became po- uh, popular in, yeah, mm. in Japan. <laughs> okay. So uh, the biggest difference between like already established band in Japan back by then or and the come up from underground were their technique. Mm-hmm. They were so much into technique. Right. So when I started picking up my bass, uh, my band guitarist in my high school, he he had been playing from six years old. Wow. So yeah, so he forced me to play very difficult songs. <laughs> uh, some of them are from Loudness. Have you heard of them? Oh, yeah. Japanese band. Yeah. 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 A very very technical band, or like X Japan. Uh, yeah. Japan quite so popular. when I came here, I was already, I only had like one year experience, no, a year and a half experience, but I was quite good at technique. Technically, yeah. you are sound, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. So in was my... Joke? <laughs> yeah, was it? <laughs> yeah. So at uh, ISS International School, uh, mm-hmm. where I was, uh, of course, uh, not, not of course, but back by then, Japanese was the biggest number. Mm. Um, I see. And there were like more than 10, 15 bands. And oh, I was yeah. playing in five bands. Oh, at one time. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Yeah. So these one five band bands and see. some other bands get together, rent a place and mm-hmm. did a gig. And uh, at that time, uh, a few times, uh, we invited guest uh, band from local scene. Mm-hmm. Uh, a few times for opposition party. Oh, and, I yeah. See. And uh, Evan, basis before me, uh, were thinking of doing something else other than that kind of music. Mm. So he he was about to leave. So I was discovered just in nice timing. Oh, uh, you and, say. Yeah. <laughs> and Evan was nice enough to show me in the studio, like how it goes and all that. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So so that's how it started. Ah, and, okay. and the funniest part is like, on one of the gig, after the gig, we were just, you know, partying at the same venue because it was up to like overnight or what. Mm-hmm. Whoa. So when I was super drunk, 
I vomited on my friend's uh, brand new leather jacket. Oh, and I was just doing this. Oh yeah. my God. And the next day, I woke up in my friend's place where I dirty his right. leather, leather jacket. But he was nice enough to took me to his place and I woke up there. <laughs> then he told me like, congrats. And I was like, well, congrats. I, I have, you know, super headache. And <laughs> then he said, hey, you are invited to opposition party to play. Then I was like, what? <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> ah, I see. So yeah. it happened while, while you yeah. guys party. Was, and yeah. No recollection. Yeah, then like then he drunk. told me like, okay, check on your wallet. You have a piece of paper with his number. Oh. So I was like, yes. Wow, he's like <laughs> So I don't remember how I joined. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. He's so rock band, right? Yeah. 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 Kids don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell you whether we do or not. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's interesting then what? You just hang out with the local kids after that? Or yeah, yeah. That's how you... I met Eric. And all that. Ah, yeah. right, Did, right. Were you good at English already then? No, they made fun of my English all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I was well, trained hard way. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Each and every word I say, they make fun of me. <laughs> no, trauma. <laughs> yeah. so but you mean you want to work harder, right? right there's these interesting <laughs> stories, right? Mm. Behind, we, like we pluck one character from that mm. movie, mm. right? From the opposition party band, <laughs> the basis, and then we come up with this interesting yeah. story. Imagine yeah. how many more yeah, stories yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. if we had exactly. to sit down with each one of them. Yeah. Right? Then we probably can write a mini series of <laughs> anthology. Uh, scene and, right. scene and An scene. anthology. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially that guy, the the dude with, uh, you know, funny teeth, and he was saying, like, don't be so nervous. Ah, so <laughs> yeah. How old is how that is guy? He's recognized by his teeth. I can't remember. He's, he's probably like 50, the one in the singlet. Mid fifties, the one that started the skateboarding community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the single mm. one. Yeah. Stomping ground guitar. Mm -mm. Ah, stomping ground mm. legend. Yeah, I remember names like Padres, mm. uh, Odd Fellows, Odd Fellows, mm. right? Padres used to come up with good, uh, radio friendly tunes as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, mm. Odd Fellows. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they were gone now. No, yeah. <laughs> no airplays of local yeah. songs anymore. I mean, yes. local bands. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. It's quite sad. Yeah. yeah. I mean, a few places like your station or mm. uh, Chris Ho's yes. program. Had, yeah. Ready Fusion. Yeah. He yeah, was yeah, from Ready Fusion, yeah. right? Chris Ho. He was mm. like the one and only, the late Chris yeah. Ho. Mm. Yeah. Are the songs on Spotify? Uh, some of them. Or oh, Bandcamp. Mm. Mm. Yeah. How about Opposition Party? I, yeah, Bandcamp. Yeah. This, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Mm, so we can access all those goodies yeah, from goodies. the past. Yeah. Because I'm I'm not a heavy user of Spotify. That's why I, I don't know. Apple Music. Um, right. Not yeah. really. I, I buy from iTunes. Uh, oh, oh, Bandcamp. Yeah. I'm I'm still old fashioned in that sense. Boomer. Because <laughs> I, I hate those AI suggestions. I never like the oh, suggestion. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't like the algorithm? Mm, yeah, no. I mean, Netflix also. <laughs> why? I guess I have very unique taste. So they, they really... They can't know what to recommend. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Here's Eva. Here's Eva. <laughs> from yeah. Ex Machina, by yeah. the way. Be, be careful. You'll be eliminated from society very soon. <laughs> He's a spy. Well, I still buy one. Well. Yeah, so... I'm right. actually a better customer than subscriber. True, true, I pay true. More. But you're not a marketer's dream. No, no, Definitely no. Not. Yeah. That's yeah, why yeah. I say you go, you're going to be eliminated from society. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. His band is called Opposition Party, that's why, right? He opposes oh, everything. Opposition Party. X-Band. X-Band. Yeah. X -band. Yeah. Are you Must still in contact band. with uh, any of these uh, no, no, people? No. No. Okay. Yeah. Evan, once in a while. Mm. We never share the stage, but <laughs> we mm. both are basis. The one, so, yeah. the, your predecessor, the one yeah. that you replaced. Yep, yep. Mm. Objectively, talking about the film itself, the movie. Mm. I felt one and a half hours was a bit too long. Mm. Um, maybe because it's a documentary in a sense. Like, everyone's story is very different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, thinking about it, like, for me personally, I like that they brought up so many issues. Yep. Like, everyone's experience is very different. And I like that there was a lot of, quite a bit of representation. Yeah. In a sense. Yeah, the representation yeah. was good. Mm -hmm. The diversity was there. Mm -hmm. Uh... Yeah, yeah, like like you mentioned, it's a it's a it's a documentary. Yes, mm. I kind of expected it, mm. but 
yeah, maybe a bit an hour and a half, especially to audiences who have maybe no uh, skin in it or no interest in it. You know, right, you're possibly. not born there. You yeah. do not know anything about it, right? Unlike, unless it's me. I was there a bit. I watched Subway, uh, no, sorry, Substation. <laughs> Subway, Subway yeah. is a sandwich shop. Uh, <laughs> Substation, you know, I was there so I can relate a bit. But even then, it was a bit too draggy for me. Oh. Like, forecast may be different. He was there. He knows some of the people mm. there. He mm. is in it, right? Uh, and, and so maybe the, the attention span or the interest might be longer, right? Mm. Mm. Yeah. So I thought it, it is tough, like, probably, for, for the filmmaker I see. To, to do that. What's your take? I feel it's all right. And on the other hand, uh, Irishman is so long, yep. but uh, you can always pause and right. rewatch. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Another thing is like, like previously you mentioned that like it might be like hard for someone like me who's not been part of mm. that generation mm. to relate. That's why it's like might be a bit draggy. I, I did feel like it was a bit long, mm. but um, actually I feel like a lot of like, I, I could relate in a sense. Like, mm, especially mm. being like an art student, I totally mm. understand like where they're coming from in terms of like, like how their work and their art is not valued. That's mm. why they are mm. deemed as like sort of unruly in mm. a sense and not like contributing to the right. society, mm. right? That's why they're facing all these issues from the state in the first place. The whole long hair acting that was very mm. interesting. Mm. I didn't. Yeah, you didn't know, right? Yeah, that I was, didn't know. That was, was a really ha long hair ban in Singapore. <laughs> yeah. Can you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pitaro. Uh, the musician, mm. synthesizer musician, mm. he, he when he came to Singapore, at the custom he was asked to cut his hair or to leave. Oh, that's so horrible! He, eh? yeah. <laughs> so he decided to leave. Yeah, why? Oh my gosh! That period of time, I think, uh, our society is also still, you know, finding its mm. feet. Mm. Yeah, right. Mm, yeah. Mm. Like, what kind? Where should we be going? Are we going to import all mm. things Western? Because during that time, yes, that's where rock yes, and roll yes, came yes, in, yes. right? Mm. The Beatles and all those kind of things, yep. the rock and roll. Yeah. So a lot of even I think in the Western society themselves are have yes, had yeah. those kind of issues. Yep. Right? Yeah. And also this what's unique to this film is that the production time span. Mm. Uh, the other day, uh, script writer Mark, who's based in UK, mm -hmm. uh, came over here and uh, checked the the final mix. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were conversing about it, and it's actually 15 years of production. Wow. wow. Yeah, one five. 15 years. Yep, yep. This film is directed by Nizam and friends. Mm -hmm. That's because, unfortunately, Nizam passed on. Mm -hmm. mm. And uh, producer, uh, our friend Michel, he, uh, during COVID, uh, he picked up Premiere Pro editing, mm -hmm. and he continued the legacy from mm. uh, Nizam. Yeah, right. so that's how we can view it now. Mm. But yeah, because you know, like mm, when the director passed on, you don't know what to do with. Yeah, the, usually the the, the, yeah. the film goes, goes with him as yeah. well, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm very fortunate that that you know we came to see mm. the, the end product. So that's another interesting thing, right? The history well, of the underground music scene in Singapore was all now the, the documentary is being developed by Michelle, who is mm -hmm. a foreigner. Mm -hmm. Michael, mm -hmm. scriptwriter, also mm -hmm. a foreigner. Mm -hmm. And me too. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. And, and, and the actually, sound design. Mm. You, 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 you work on the sound uh, aspect yeah, of yeah. the whole movie, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. again, it's totally not local, local. Mm. There is or there are still foreign influences that actually make this happen. Similarly to many things for Japan, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's documented via outsider's view. Mm. Uh, because okay. when you are there, you wouldn't feel it's unique. Mm. But only right. outsider would know. Can appreciate it, yeah. yeah. right? True, mm. true. Maybe or they and they can see a bigger picture than you probably because right, you are right. in it. Yeah, right. And yeah. they can see oh this 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 this. Mm. Yeah, and Good, for this point. film, I have to say I can't call myself sound designer because every uh, creative sound uh, placement mm -hmm. came from Michelle. Mm. I see. Yeah. I so see. Uh, so I'm asking him and his producer to give me 
more appropriate name. I don't care, but it's not right. sound designer. Right, yeah. right, right, right. Okay. But what sense. I have concentrated on on this film is to try to make rock musician as rock as possible right. in the five point one environment. Mm, and also, this film. What this film is so unique is there are so many different. Material source, source materials mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like VHS, Umatic, right. Better. Never heard of any of these. <laughs> Absolutely Never foreign. Heard of any of them. VHS, perhaps. Okay. Yeah. Umatic, Umatic is more professional use, so mm. it wouldn't be wrong not to know the sound. I mean, you can see the picture as well, right? Right. Like very, mm. yeah, mm. distorted. Mm. Noisy. So technically, was that a challenge for you? For yeah, you guys? Yeah, I had to clean up a lot. Mm. Yeah, you know, just to make it audible. I don't right. want to lose the authenticity mm. of the media, right? But but it needs to be conveyed, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So so the balance of it was quite difficult. Yeah, honestly, to my layman ears, it sounds very okay, very good. Like doesn't sound noisy or dirty to me. If like layman I mean, words, then you did good work, right? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. can only yeah. spot. Bad things. If you don't spot anything, means yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the yeah. that's the thing that, that yeah. Goes. It's usually our best compliment is no Not compliment. Tell. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Like the the dimensions of it, right? Mm -hmm. Like it because it was filmed long time ago, mm -hmm. or was it a stylistic choice? At this point, I cannot tell because there are so many films mm -hmm. in the current era right, that right, right, use it as stylistic like choice. Grand Budapest also, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I was like, oh my god, I can't tell if it's actually because of the film was. They were shot, it was mm. shot like that in the past or like uh, a stylistic choice to mm. fit the sort of vibe, the, mm. the, the, the mood, yeah. Also, are mm. there any new fresh uh, footages or is this all from sources taken years ago? Interviews are all by them. I mean, by the production team. Mm. Not by, uh, not from archive or what. Ah, yeah. I see, I see. There was that one scene, right, where I was trying to figure out, because the timeline is a bit fuzzy. Mm -hmm. So I was having trouble trying to figure out, right? Mm. Then there was that one scene where they were going through Orchard Road. Mm. Do you remember? And I was like, oh my god, okay, new taxi, new taxi, new taxi. And then finally I saw the old taxi mm. on the side and I was like, oh, okay, so this is like an old clip. Mm -hmm. It's like how I spot. Mm, I wouldn't lie, but because I worked on it and mm. worked on it, mm, like, like, a lot. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to watch in the cinema. <laughs> mm. yeah, yeah, I think it is. I think it is a must mm. for all to go and watch. Not mm. only music enthusiasts, mm -hmm. but, you know, normal citizens, uh, mm. especially if you call yourself a film buff. Mm. You mm -hmm. got to know this part of history of Singapore existed. Right, right. And it wasn't that long ago. It probably oh, happened yeah. to your brother, your uncle, or your father. Exactly. Or your mother. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> so, it, yeah, it's uh, something colourful. In, in the past, uh, near, uh, you know, not too far back. Yeah. yeah. But a lot of the young kids now didn't even know these mm. things existed. Mm. Right? Right, right. I think from a Zoomer point of view, like, you mm. guys should really watch it. Like, you will look mm. at old people differently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at Pumas differently. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Some with a different hair. He graduated from Boomer already. <laughs> you become cool yeah. as a Zoomer. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I guess that's it for today. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in um, on this very special uh, feature of uh, our local film scene, a uh, local music scene, <laughs> which is a film, a local film. Tajian. Selamat tinggal. Mata kondo. Mata kondo. No, no, no. I, it's okay. You don't need to edit. <laughs>